The latest campus exposure to COVID involves the Mox football team. Get details next. Can't find a quiet place to jump on Zoom for an online class? UTC officials announced a major change. Three weeks into the semester, we have some words of encouragement for you. I'm Charlize Lundy. Your news starts now. with details of possible COVID exposure with the Mox football team. Campus experts believe the time of exposure was August 25th. Anyone who has been in close contact with the Mox football team since that date should get tested and watch for symptoms. Football student athletes are routinely tested for COVID-19. The team is currently preseason training. Here are the latest numbers from the campus COVID-19 dashboard. We currently have 138 active cases. The number of closed cases is 162. Students who think they have been exposed are asked to complete the COVID-19 notification form online, or they can call the Campus Office of Student Outreach and Support at 423-425-2299. Are you having trouble finding room to Zoom on campus? Now we have a solution. UTC now has classrooms called Zoom Rooms. Students can use the room to quickly get online for class or charge their device while they work or quietly take part in online classwork. The nine rooms are located in Lupton Hall, the Library, Davenport Hall, and the Chattanooga Room in the UC. Most are marked BYOD, which means bring your device. You can find the list on moxnews.com. Congratulations, Mox. We have made it through three weeks of the fall semester. Here are some words of encouragement from Chancellor Steve Engel. So while the world's changed dramatically, the commitment of the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga to our students, to our faculty and staff, to their well-being and health, to this community, to our alumni has not changed at all. I've never been more proud to be a mock, to see how our students and faculty and staff have just buckled down and done it. They have figured out what to do, depending on each other, relying on the expertise of their colleagues, and working as a team integrated to try and serve our students in this community as best we can. What a great accomplishment in such a short time, and I know it's been difficult for everybody, but we appreciate the efforts. People have stood up, they've helped each other, they've done everything they could to make this work and above and beyond the call of duty. I know what an incredible group of people that we have who are the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. We can do this and go Mox. Protesters from Black Lives Matter took to the streets to fight a new law in Tennessee. People gathered at Miller Park Wednesday night. Organizers say it should not be a criminal offense to block a street to make their voices heard. From Miller Park, they marched to the Hamilton County Courthouse. No arrests were made. We will have more next week on how you can show your support for Black Lives Matter. One of the newest members of Mox News met with the mayor of Chattanooga. Marlon Carter was joined in the interview with the leader of the local Black Lives Matter chapter, C. Grammy. The mayor's rejection of Tennessee Governor's Bill Lee's anti-protest law was brought up. I guess it has something to do with us wanting to, uh, me and C. Grammy, 
wanting to uh, have a meeting with him. And that's why he created, uh, you know, policing policy for, ec for diverse and equity groups and communities. And uh, by him doing that, if he's serious about that, he will go against what Bill Lee said. Carter also said that the mayor would divest in police departments and invest in black communities. Another goal would be to reduce the number of police officers. Gear Up is hiring tutors to work with students in one of the urban schools that Gear Up serves. The pay starts at $12 an hour. You need 30 completed credit hours with a GPA of 2.5. For at least the next few weeks, the work will be done virtually. Find out more at moxnews.com. You can show your Mox pride while you're on Zoom. Mox Athletics has released virtual backgrounds that you can use in your Zoom or for your desktop background. Maybe you aced that test, so this touchdown would be a good choice. Or you could pretend your room was clean and filled with all things Mox Blue and Gold. Or if you like scenic beauty of Finley Stadium at sundown, or maybe McKenzie Arena too. Well, that's it for this edition of Mox News. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to keep up with us on our Facebook page. We are also on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. You have a good weekend.